I wanted to talk a little bit about the TILA, right? Let's talk about TIL a little bit because if I remember correctly, you I think you just got a car recently. Mm -hmm. I think I think you talked about it on your Instagram. You got a car recently for free, like no money down, anything like that, right? Okay, so free means <clears throat> I can't I didn't come out of pocket for it. Okay. So it's basically like you giving me your iPhone. Right. I got it for free. Right. So went to the dealer, told him what I wanted. Great. I leveraged one credit score experience. So I got a Kia because I'm going to give it to my boy, Maurice, or Maurice, I know Maurice. to, to um, run for Toro. Right. So I went there, Kia Motor Financials, they pulled from Experian. Mm -hmm. So I unfroze my Experian because my um, do for self, the secret lenders list, mm -hmm. the um, uh, do for self, a lender's guide to getting your own approval. There we go. It teaches you who pulls from where. Mm -hmm. So with that book, I went through my own book mm -hmm. and I said, who does Kia pull from? Mm -hmm. Experian. Mm -hmm. I unfroze my Experian. Mm -hmm. I went there. I told him I wanted to be. I already know I had an 810. I wasn't worried about it. Mm -hmm. Right? Filled the paperwork up, yada, yada, yada. They came back now. I was breaking down what a finance charge is mm -hmm. and the guy was looking at me crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, how does he know about that? Mm -hmm. It's all good. Mm -hmm. I said, let me see my truth in lending statement. Mm. Right? Or oh, don't 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 go. A lot of people watching this mean I know what a truth in lending statement. So let's first go into that before you break down the rest of the play. So they call it a retail installment contract. Okay. You know that thing that they give you and it has two boxes on the left. Right. And it's four boxes. Right, right, right. Two on the left, two on the right, but the two on the left, it's brighter right. than the other two. Right. Because on the truth in lending those two boxes that speaks about APR mm -hmm. and finance charge, they must be more conspicuous than any other box. Okay. So I know this going in. Mm -hmm. So I saw what my finance charge was. Mm -hmm. I know what's supposed to be the finance charge. So go ahead, your phone. Yeah, what do you need me to look up now? 15 USC. 15 USC. 1605. 1605. It's gonna bring me to truth in lending to the finance charge. Determination of, determination of finance yeah. charge. You may start from A? Yeah, we would have finance So charge. finance charge is, except as otherwise provided in this section, the amount of the finance charge in connection with any consumer credit transaction. Which is what I went there for. Right. I didn't go there for a retail and stale Right. I went there for a consumer credit transaction. Right. So any consumer credit transaction shall be determined as the sum of all charges payable directly or indirectly by the person to whom the credit is extended and imposed. Wait, say that again. Payable directly or indirectly by the person to whom the credit is extended. Okay. Right? And imposed directly or indirectly by the creditor as an incident to the extension of credit. Okay. You want to keep going? Keep going. The finance charge does not include charges of a type payable in a comparable cash transaction. Shut down payments are illegal. If it's a consumer credit transaction, there is no cash involved. They asked me for a down payment. I said, my finance charge says that there's no cash transaction. Mm. There is no down payment. Mm. So, so ask me about a down payment. We can go to the, and using this same law. Well, I just did it. Bypass the down payment. Continue. All right, right. Let, me, let me keep going. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm still here. To whom the credit is extended and imposed directly or indirectly by the creditor as an incident to the extension of credit. Going back to where I was at, the finance charge does not include charges of a type payable in comparable cash transaction. The finance charge shall not include fees and amounts imposed by third party closing agents, including settlement agents, attorneys and escrow and title companies if the creditor does not require the imposition of the charges or the services provided and does not retain the charges. Keep going. Examples of charges which are included in the finance charge mm -hmm. include any of the following types of charges which are applicable. Okay, this is about to get interesting. Interest, mm -hmm. time price differential, mm -hmm. and any amount payable under a point discount or other system or additional charges. So no, when they talk about dealer fee, documents fee and all that, mm -hmm. my finance charge take care of all of that. Mm -hmm. I'm not the one paying it. Mm -hmm. That's included in my finance charge. Mm -hmm. So when I got the, the, the retail installment contract and I was leaving, I noticed 
they didn't ask me about insurance. They asked me if I had insurance. Mm -hmm. My finance charge includes insurance. Look, it's crazy. It's gonna say premium. Keep reading. Two, service or carrying charge. Three, loans fee, finder's fee, or similar charge. Four, fee for an investigation or credit report. Five, premium or other charge for any guarantee or insurance protecting the creditors against the ob obligors default or other credits loss. All right, so they have an insurance. Mm -hmm. So the finance charge also pays for an insurance that covers the lenders or the creditor if I, the consumer, default. Mm -hmm. So if I default, there's an insurance that was paid that covered their loss, mm -hmm. right? But not only that, my insurance is also supposed to be included. Right. So a lot of people say, well, I want fucking gap insurance. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying for it. Throw that in the finance charge. Mm -hmm. That's why it's there. Mm -hmm. So my payment went up like $30 more. Mm -hmm. But now I have gap that was included. So right now if I drive off a lot and an 18 wheeler T-bone the car and it's total mm -hmm. and the car now that I paid 25,000 for mm -hmm. is worth 19. Mm -hmm. That gap fills that void. I don't have a deficiency balance. All for free. Not one dime out of pocket. Goodness gracious. So you basically just gave a step-by-step, -step, play by play on why a down payment is legal. You read it. I didn't right. mind you, this is this, the, I didn't I ain't type it up. This is on the on the internet, right? This is actual real life consumer yeah. law. That people Truth in London. And what you get, this is 15 US code 1605. This is the determination of a finance, finance charge. charge. Yeah. A lot of people don't even know what a finance charge is. Right. Hmm. It's powerful stuff. Right. 